Hi guys, when we're expanding our network, we need to add ports to the system in order to have more devices like the IP cameras or SS point. So adding a new switch is the most popular way for the solution. However, adding a switch is not as simple as you think. It actually requires crucial consideration. So today in this video, I'm giving out five tips on how to add a new switch in order to improve the efficiency and reliability. Also, I'm going to do a simple connection at the end of the video. If you find our video helpful, please like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling, and share it with your friends or family who can benefit from our video. So PRE technology allows the electrical power to be transmitted along with data over a single Ethernet cable. So why do we need PoE switch? Now PoE switch is a device that allows the administrator to transmit both power and data to the edge devices through the Ethernet cable. Now, using a PoE switch can simplify the installation by eliminating the need for separate power set. Also, it can centralize the power management, increasing the flexibility and improve reliability of the power devices on your network. Now, without saying, I'm going to give you the five tips on how to choose a PoE switch. There are tons of switch you can choose from, indoor, outdoor, manage, unmanage, and different types of switch provide different function. That's why tip number one, make sure you choose the proper switch. Now, if your network requires uh, advanced feature or customization, managed switch will be your best option because managed switch has a greater control over the switch setting. It allows the administrator to monitor the network performance and troubleshoot issue. But if simplicity and easy to use are more important to you, unmanaged switch is also a way to go. Now, unmanaged switch like this one is a plug and play device. It offers fewer customization options and also it is not allowed for monitoring, but it's easy to use. Or you can always choose a WebSmart PoE switch like this one. A WebSmart PoE switch has a little bit of both. It is easy to use, but at the same time, it provides some customization option. And different environment, you can choose different PoE switch. There's a commercial, outdoor, and industrial. Commercial switch like this one, those are commercial switch is designed for use in an office building, retail store, or other indoor environment. It is suitable for small to a medium size. And then we have the outdoor switch. Now, this is an outdoor PoE switch. And you can see it has an enclosure. It's usually used it outdoor because it can withstand weather condition. And it's mostly used in a civilian system. And here we have the industrial switch. Now, industrial switch can work under a harsh environment like a factory or manufacturing plant because it is designed to withstand extreme temperature and humidity and etc. So it can work harsh environment. Now, make sure you choose the right PoE switch for your application. Tip number two, implement suitable cable for your connection. Always choose a pure copper cable, like Cat5e or Cat6. Now, pure copper has superior conductivity compared to other materials. It can provide high bandwidth and reliable power delivery. And if you have to install devices that is far away, you can always choose the fiber optic cable. Now, fiber optic cable is made out of glass. It can provide high speed, low latency, and long distance run. And tip number three, make sure you consider your power supply issue. Now, you can check if your PoE switch has an AC adapter available. 
If there's no AC adapter available, you can always choose a PoE power switch and you can watch the video here on how to use a PoE power switch. And some switch can support redundant power to get high reliability. That means if one supply power supply set is down, there's another power supply set will take over immediately. And also, you have to determine your power consumption of the edge devices. For example, is it using a 30 watts AT standard or a 60 watts BT standard? And also the power budget. The total power budget is very important. For example, if you have an 8 port PoE switch that has a total power budget of 120 watts, and now you're connecting eight IP cameras that require 20 watts. So obviously, it doesn't have enough power budget because eight cameras with 20 watts, that means 160 watts in total, but your PoE switch only have 120 watt power budget in total. So that's not enough. In this case, you will need a higher power budget PoE switch. So tip number four, avoid daisy chain. Daisy chain is a network topology where multiple switch connected in a LAN infection. Now, with each switch connected to the next switch in the chain. Now, why do we want to avoid that? Because daisy chain will lead to network latency. And here is a video on how to avoid daisy chain in a network system. You can watch it here. And tip number five. Search protection. Even though your device getting hit by lightning is rare, but still there's a chance your system may be damaged by the search. Because when lightning hitting the ground, actually it will spread to the whole area. Since Ethernet cable is made out of copper, and copper absorbs search, so it will travel to both ends of the devices and eventually damage the system. So if your environment has lightning often or you're using an outdoor surveillance system, always make sure you add a search protector. And now we're done with the five tips. Let's move on and do our connection together. So today we're connecting two PoE devices using the PoE switch. So let's take a look what else we need. First, we have a router here. This is for the main network. This is the NVR because we have a camera. So we will provide image later on. And let's plug in our main router with the NVR for network recording. And then I'm going to plug in a short patch cord here with my PoE switch to provide data to my PoE switch. And also, it has a power supply AC adapter here. Make sure you plug it in for power. And the lights is on. Once it's getting power, we can use the Ethernet cable here to connect with the PoE switch. Now the, PO, the Ethernet cable is getting both data and power and send it over to our camera on this side. We just have to simply plug in and wait for it works. I can hear the sound clicking. It should take a few minutes because this is a zoom camera, okay? The light is on, it's getting image. And if you want to add another device, you can simply just using another ethernet cable here. Let me show you and connect with your device like this SS point. Here you go. And we can pull it back to our PoE switch. Just simply installing it here. And now we can see a camera is getting on and it's alive. Let me show you. And you can see here, our SS point is also getting power. The lights are on and there's no power source available anywhere over this side. All we need is a single Ethernet cable and they can be managed by our PoE switch. So the whole setup is pretty easy, right? 
And thank you so much for watching today. And I'll see you next time.